Hey guys, back once again with another video and today I just about plucked up the energy after work to have a go at uh, maybe changing the chips. Uh, you know, I've just wanted to overall maybe the Epron chips are uh, no good. Um, these two chips here could actually be like corrupt, these Eproms. So I've got this little Eprom extractor that I got from, I don't know, somewhere. And apparently this tool is what you use to extract ICs. So I guess you just hook it on according to this. Uh, you hook it on and you pull it off with some sort of metal lock. Let me have a look see what else that comes with. There's some other little tools in here. Also, I've got a power supply, thanks to Paul. Uh, I've got a power supply here, which I'm going to probably swap out on this Akai just to overrule. This is a 12 volt power supply. Oh, it's not zooming out very well here. There we go. Yeah, so this is the 12 volt power supply. Um, I ordered this from DigiKey. Uh, part number here on there as you can see it's called the RD85A and this is a 12 volt system and the 12 volt system is going to replace uh, I believe this power supply here so I'm going to change that out with this new power supply which is much better and going to have a go at wiring it up so thanks for to Paul for recommending that so on ebay now i purchased this eprom set for the akai which upgrades it to 4.3 4.3 as you can see there look so you've got your msb and you've got your lsb for the akai s1100 so this has got some uh, improvements for the operating system on here maybe it's causing a problem I don't know you know I'm just gonna try it and see if it works uh, last my last time I tried to extract one of these chips I didn't have much luck but here's the instructions uh, it says disconnect the s1100 from the power carefully remove the two old versions of Eproms from the main board Use a small screwdriver or chip removal tool, which I have here from a little computer repair kit that I got. Uh, it's, uh, let's see, um, tool and, and lift each end a little bit at a time until the EPROM is free. Install the EPROM mark LSB into the socket mark IC10. Make sure to install it so that the pin one of the EPROM goes to the pin one of the socket. Be very careful not to bend any of the pins on the EPROM. Install the EPROM mark MSB into the socket mark IC11 in the same way as the LSB EPROM. Put the cover back on the unit, power it up. Display should be V3.0. Right, so let's give that a go. So the first one we're gonna take out is the LSB. So I'm assuming you put that on there, you hook it like that, and you put it out a bit at a time. Whoa. Boy. That is freaking stiff, mate. That is stiff. See, I always get prang when I'm doing this sort of stuff. But this is the tool. It seems to be hooking on. What does it say to get this off here? Let me have a look. Extraction unit hook for extracting. Press the metal hook downward. Hmm? Downward and make the hook touch the gap between the IC and the socket. Yeah, well, that's obvious. Uh, IC clip. Press the IC clip towards the inside direction, making metal making metal hook clipping I see tightly let me see this now so what do you do here you press it 
that's on there. Yikes. Ah, oh, it goes right underneath it. Let's have a look. Press it. Right. Oh, we got it. Come on, mate. Yes. It come out. Bam. And it was that way round. So now I've got to put this one on. This one is the LSB. Right. So now, you know what? Really and truly what I was thinking, right? Because I've got one of them uh, Epron readers, right? And I was thinking of flipping, seeing if I could read this Epron and download the the program, the hex file or whatever it is you get off of these EPROMs, right? And then reprogram it back onto this one if this is writable. Comment down below if you think that's possible, guys, and let me know what you think. Right, so we're back to this now. So we've got the LSB, right? And now I need to get the LSB from this, which is this one. So I'll take that out, and maybe, maybe this, maybe this is this this is corrupt. You know, maybe that's gone a bit ski whiff. And then it went that way round, so it looks to me like pin one. Right, let's pay attention to what we're doing here. Right, so I need to get my magnifying glass. Sorry, chaps. I think you can see it as well. I need to get me magnifying glass. I need to look at what pin one is here. So pin one. I personally think pin one is here. That's what I'm thinking. Now this pin is sort of a bit. The pins on it, right? It's a bit wide. Yeah. What's that jankiness underneath it? They're using old chips for these, you know. Sheesh kebab. That's not brand new. The state of it. So anyway, I don't want to mix it up. So that's going that way around, right? So pin one is going. The legs are wide as hell on this. So you know what we're gonna to have to do, innit? We're gonna to have to bring these pins in. This thing's flimsy. Look at that. Look at the mess it's. Look at the state of it. This guy's having a laugh. He's selling it with old chips. You probably can't get these chips no more. Comment down below if you know what chips these are. And if we can get brand new ones. Right. So I would say it's that way around. I can feel that little blib there. But. In all honesty, this is not easy to input. Right, so let me get me uh me, me glasses and see if I can find them because you've got to be careful with this, you know. You can't just willy nilly do it what do what you want. Let me just move this over, try and see if I'll get you guys in a loop as well. Right. So This is kind of tricky. So that looks good. Let me have a look. <laughs> I'm putting my head in there now. All right, try and get above the camera a bit here. All right, let's see. Are all the pins lined up? That's the question. Right, I need to check this to make sure that all the pins are lining up. Now, let me get my glasses on. And I'm going to look around the back and I'm going to see if I can see all the pins on. So all them pins look lined up to me. So, okay, so be careful, B. So we got to be careful. we got to be careful. Right. So let's bring this back here. Right. What we got here now? Bloody hell. We're going all over the gaff here. This is not easy filming and doing this at the same time. But let's see what we can do. Let me get in there a little bit here. It looks good. 
Come back down here. Keep pushing. Right, he's in. He's in. I think he's in. Nice and easy. All the pins feel good there. They feel like they're in place. Right, now we've got to get the next one out. These chips better be good, you know, this spray is selling me. Now we've got to get the next old chip out. So let's let's kind of zoom out on that a bit. And then let's uh, grab this here. Feel where pin one goes that way round again. And I'm going to grab it. Tuck it underneath. Right, that's tricky. In here. Upgrading the Eprom chips. Ooh. Did I bend the pins on that? Let's have a look. Where is it? It looks all right. Quick look. That looks like we can come back from that. Right, so we get that one. Put him there. He went in like that. You could see like the, on here, right? You can see the grooves. See, look, if you look there, you've got your little groove there, right? And you've got your little groove here. So that's the, the pin one kind of groove lineup. That's the groovy woovy lineup, right? So next, we're going to get the other one. And we're going to do the same procedure with this one. Uh, hopefully that's in focus for you guys. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That looks lovely. So I'm going to get this one out now. Hope you guys like this little setup here. Big up to the Lady T for helping me get this uh, this new workbench organised. Uh, we've done a little bit of a DIY thing. We've got, we got this um, breadboard, we call it. I'll show you guys a little... Uh, little video of that if you want to see it of the new refix of this workbench so I've, it's all organized now i've got my tools on the wall and obviously this set up with a bit of a shelf to do the thing with you guys right so anyway so now i'm gonna be a bit better with this one this time i'm gonna press it okay that feels a bit weird that don't feel right let's be careful here oh don't want to bend no pins man if we bend pins on this it's probably game over right, let's try this i don't understand why how you would use this to insert it let me see how you use this to insert it quickly right guys let me see So to insert it, it says put gently, uh, put gently IC clip on the body. Uh, the metal hook will automatically, up, will, will be upward automatically and the place, the backward side locate. You can't even read it. It's mad. Let me have a look. I think doing it manually by hand is probably easier with this thing. Let me have a look. So you do it like that. Put it on there. Let's see. Nah, I think you get a better feel for it by hand, to be honest. You just got to be careful and plonk it on bit by bit. Maybe give these a, these pins a little, a little pinch towards the middle. Just because they're a bit wide, they don't fit perfectly in the in that groove. Just be careful. Make sure all your pins are flipping, lining up. That's the most important thing here. Yeah? And don't press too hard because you don't want to mash up your pins. Again, if you mash up your pins, game over. Here we go. Right, that bit's gone in. Yep, 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 he's in. Give that a feel. Right, guys. This is kind of like the moment of truth now. I've put them in. Right. I've put them all in. It's looking good. Let's get these out of here. 
two pins extract there's probably a way to flipping reprogram these chips i'm going to see firstly if i can read them and if i can i might actually see if i can upgrade these chips using my epron programmer because i've got one i just ain't been lucky with getting it to work how i want it to how i want it to so now is the moment of truth i'm gonna put the power cable in Right, that didn't sound like it was live, by the way. I might need to trace that back. Let's see, now it's going in. Right, now guys, I'm gonna disconnect the camera, put it around the front, let you guys see what's popping. I'm using, I'm sort of using my mobile phone here. Right, so around the front, switch him on, what's he saying? 4.30, bang! Watch it, sweet! So, there we have it. That's the EPROM change. It's working. I've upgraded it. Now, probably just want to test it to see if the audio is coming through. So, and if it's improved my audio issue. Probably not. I'm not going to I'm not going to hold my breath on this one. But you never know. Right. So now let me find that cable. And uh, we'll see what's happening. By the way, the, the power supply um, that I ordered, I ordered it from digikey.com. Um, I ordered some stuff from Mauser, uh, but Mauser, uh, I think they're based in America, and they got some real strict customs uh, palava. They ask you a load of customs questions before you, they actually dispatch it. And uh, my order was sitting in just loo doing nothing for about a week and i thought wait what's going on with this order but you know it's supposed to get here quite quickly special delivery and all that and i was waiting about a week nothing come through and uh before you know it i contacted them and apparently i had to fill in a form for customs to say what i wanted this parts for opponents like they think you're going to build a bomb or some sort of nuke or something the way they're going on so I had to fill it in and say it's for hobby use, etc. And then at that stage, I was able to, to do it. Right, guys. So as you can see, I've got my nice little sort of uh, set up here that we, you know, we sorted it all out. All the tools and everything was looking like way better than before. A lot easier to work. But the moment of truth now, let's give this a little test. And as you can see... I've got it set up here now. I'm gonna hit the edit sample window and press play. So you can hear that buzzing. One thing I'll say, yeah, the output's quite low on this. If that does give us any clues, that's the pulse wave, right? Sawtooth. Square. And now the sign. Let me play you the sign. See, you can hear that. It's got like it's got like a wispy sound to it. So that's kind of where we are, folks. So still back to the drawing board. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please hit the like button. Let me know I'm doing something right out there. Also helps me, you know, get up there on YouTube for this type of stuff. That's it. Take care. God bless. Peace.